friends, welcome back to my channel, B. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. This box was packed for a boy in the age range of five to nine. And the theme of this box is fun and games retro style. So there's a lot of nostalgia in this box for me. And I'm a very nostalgic person. It's of different children and different cultures. And then I added some rainbow colored tie-dyed symbols here, peace symbols, stars, hearts. And this side there is, this was just some packaging that I cut up. And this says hope on this side, and that says peace on that side. And then around the bottom of the box, I just added some decorative duct tape. It really is a nice, nice shoe box, a nice size shoe box. On the inside of the lid, I added some more of the border strip, bulletin board border strip. I added the phrases in these cutouts, love and unity. I fussy cut some of the children and I wrote, Jesus loves you. And I have a sticker that I think I'm gonna put right here. It's just a round foam sticker that says, Jesus loves the little children of the world. I think I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so this is what this young man will see when he first opens his box. And so I'll start by showing you his little his little white stuffy with the blue details. You can't get much more retro than a teddy bear, right? He has just a pair of underwear, a blue pair, size eight, and a pair of socks. He has a notebook for school wide ruled spiral bound notebook. It's got the nice flexible plastic cover. Very retro, a Scooby Doo coloring book, some stickers, and I'll tell you that I'm disappointed because I ordered some stickers specifically for this box from Amazon. Some of the nice skateboard or water bottle stickers. And they were like retro video game stickers. I, I, I opened the package and I looked at them and all. I thought these are so cute. And I set them someplace in my house and I can't find them. Have you ever done that? I have searched my house over and over and I just cannot find those stickers. So I guess these are a good substitute for now. I just got these the other day at Walmart for 50 cents. I don't know. They look pretty retro. So they're holographic stickers. So I put in two 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 of them, two sheets. But in this package, I have some fun retro items. Old fashioned pinball game. I don't know how, how well this is going to work. I think you'll have some fun. Oh, there, I just scored 200. Oh, there, I just scored, scored 400. <laughs> I think you'll have some fun with that. Handheld pinball game. There's some little novelty items here that are very retro. That one looks like a cassette tape. Standing up, I think this came out of a cereal box. A friend gave this to me. That's either a computer or a, a cassette tape. This one actually is a cassette tape keychain. I just got this for 50 cents at Walmart. He has a finger skateboard. Again, very retro. These are timeless, right? He has, okay, so in here I included from Dollar Tree. I call them rainbow looms, but it's not rainbow loom. This is the Dollar Tree, the kind you can get at Dollar Tree. And I actually made one for him, so he can kind of get the idea. They come with a little looming tool, the loom, the bands, and the instructions for making several different kinds of bracelets. Pencil top erasers. Of course, I have no idea what that character is, but it's fun. And then... A hand making the peace symbol. A clacker toy. I played with these when I was little, so I know this is very retro because I'm old. I don't know, I just call them clacker toy. Bounce balls. Now, when I was little, these were called super balls. So these are also very retro, right? These have smiley faces, and I have four different colors. A hacky sack ball that I made. I crocheted this, 
and it's filled with plastic pellets, not, you know, not beans or rice or anything. It might be a little bit big for a hacky sack ball. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I was really using the pad or... He has a lip whistle. Again, I think that's very retro. He has a larger pencil sharpener and it came with a few pencil cap erasers in it already. These silly bands, friendship bands. These are sea creatures. I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I'll take these price stickers off, but I left them on to remind myself to tell you they were originally $2.99 and I got them for 49 cents. These are very retro, right? I know my, my daughters loved silly bands when they were little. A toothbrush with a cap. A Pac-Man card game. Oh, I love this. Okay, so... I remember I started college in 1980, and one evening a friend of mine and I went to an establishment that had the Pac-Man game, and we laughed, and we laughed, and played that game. Neither one of us had ever played before, and we just had so much fun. So I saw this on Amazon, and I used my points to buy it, and you, and you know what the best thing about this is? The instructions are amazing because so there's two decks of these cards and the instructions on how you play they're great because they come in all these different languages and they even have the flag of the country indicating you know, what language it is so i mean i think there's there's some English, of course, and I think French, German, and maybe Greek. This card game is very retro, and it's very international. I love that. I think that's my favorite thing in the box. Although, this is a close second. I got this in a little gift shop, novelty shop, when I, I was traveling not too long ago. It's a little mini twister game. So you play twister with, and it comes with these little socks, finger socks, and you put them on your fingers, and then you play twister with your fingers. It's just, you can play with your own fingers or with a friend, and there would only be four. But still, I mean, it's so miniature that you'd really have to twist and bend your fingers in place. And it comes with a little spinner. It comes with, you know, everything you need to play Twister. So that's very retro. Collapsible water bottle. A tote bag that has some puppy dogs. He has just a little washcloth. This isn't very big, but it's definitely big enough for him to, you know, wash, wash his face. Um, I crocheted this. He has a hygiene pack here. So he has crayons, 24 count. I put Crayola in the spot. I love this shirt. This shirt, I got this for on clearance for a dollar. I think it was a dollar at Walmart. And it doesn't say. It's free assembly is the name brand on the tag. But doesn't this remind you of a lava lamp? <laughs> I mean, I think this was very retro looking. And I love the material. The material is like a seersucker material. But I just love the design on there. I would wear this if it fit me. I love this. And it is a boy shirt. And it's got even got a little emblem here. F.A. for free assembly. So it's a very nice quality shirt. Oh, he has. This is his wow item. It is a remote control race car. And I have included a mini screwdriver, several batteries. I got that on clearance at Walgreens a couple of months ago, a few months ago. This is the note that I have included for the child with our family photo. I just have detached the note and then I laminated the whole thing. He had a tic-tac-toe game. He has this little mini journal. I got these last year on clearance, I think for 50 cents at Walmart. He has, this is a, came in a McDonald's Happy Meal. I don't know if Pete the Cat is necessarily retro. This is Pete the Cat's Got Class, and it's perfect for this age group, for a boy in this age range. It's about a cat who 
teaches his friend how to do math problems using race cars or using his toy cars. So I thought that would kind of went along with my theme here since I've included a race car has marbles, another retro activity. Um, I played with them as a kid and I I got this particular set of marble from my friend Trish. She gave me some marbles and what I really love about this package of marbles is that there's 50 of them. You know, you can easily find marbles 24 count, but these have 50. So, and I, they came in this like mesh bag and I left the tag on, but I then put them in this drawstring burlap bag so that when he opens them, he'll still have a place to keep them. And I believe I got this from Dollar Tree Walmart or Dollar General. Don't remember which. He has this fun puzzle eraser. It's not a Rubik's Cube, but you know, it's it's a fun square puzzle eraser. He has a comic book, a Donald Duck DuckTales comic book. Comic books are very retro, right? And I got this at Dollar Tree. Oh, but this one was full price. But I wanted to include this comic book because it's very retro. And then this is his school pack, and it's huge, so I folded it. This is what I did. I put his school supplies in there, kind of separated them, and then I was able to fold it. So some of his supplies are on this side, and then some are on this side. And I love this because it's a cassette player, isn't that? That's very retro, perfect for my box, right? Okay, so this was my fun and games retro style she bought for a boy age five to nine and thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed watching this one and if you haven't already i'd love it if you would subscribe and if you would like to leave a comment you know i love reading them and i always try to respond and if you saw something you liked i hope you'll hit the like button and i'll see you next time here on B. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. Bye, friends.